Hey everyone, it's Claudia, Visit Bucks County's local tourist. Summers in Bucks County, Pennsylvania can get hot. With the help of friends, here are some top ways to cool off in Bucks County. First stop, we're gonna go kayaking at Tyler State Park. Let's get in. <laughs> For this one, I brought Jackie and we had a blast. Renting the kayak was so easy and you can do it online at driftwoodwateradventures.com. This is going a lot smoother than we thought. We have no experience at all. So I just want to point that out there that we did not think this was going to go well. And it's pretty easy. It's relaxing and it's you get some active in there. You get some exercise while you're doing it. Jackie and I were shocked at how good we were, even though we kept getting beached because she wanted to look at turtles. <laughs> we got beached on some rocks. So I may have to get out and push us. Hot ways to cool off, okay? You got to get in the water. You got to get in. I'm gonna turn this around. There are a ton of other things to do at Tyler State and a bunch of places you can get food in Newtown, so make sure you check them out. Next up, we're gonna go paddle boating at Peace Valley Park. Trevor came along with me for this one and I'm so thankful for that because that meant that I could take breaks from pedaling. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been even rowing for the last seven months. You can rent a paddle boat to ride on Lake Galena at Peace Valley Boat Rental. They are first come, first serve. Peace Valley Park was a great place to spend the day, and after all that paddling, we were hungry. So we tried one of the many restaurants in Doylestown, Bucks County. The Farmhouse Tavern on Main Street was so good. Their homemade food was delicious, and the welcoming atmosphere made us feel right at home. Next up, we're tubing in the Delaware River. Let's go. <laughs> Jackie had so much fun kayaking that she wanted to come tubing too. We floated down the Delaware River with the Bucks County River Country. Once arriving at their property in Point Pleasant, we showed our online ticket confirmation and got our tubes. Part of the tubing experience is getting to ride on the Bucks County River Country bus. While there, we met really cool people. A couple spending the night in New Hope and a family making a day trip from Yardley. I'm We're on the bus. Crazy. We've made it on the bus. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Once you get off the bus, you walk a short ways into the water and then you start to cruise. My major tip is to bring or buy a rope or else you'll float away from your tubing buddy and have to evacuate for a dramatic rescue. Jackie! The water made for a mostly calm and relaxing ride. There were a few parts of the river that had small rapids, which I loved. And we were gonna film them, but got so nervous, so we just stored our cameras in a waterproof bag just in case we fell in. We had a drop off and now I can't touch the bottom. <laughs> we saw amazing greenery, beautiful houses, and the weather was just perfect out. We realized that we are somehow going the wrong way, even though we're literally on a river and there's only one way to go. <laughs> <laughs> But we're working it, we're making it, well, I'm making it. Jackie's just sitting. Okay, get it going, let's go. After we were done tubing, we decided to get something to eat. Just 20 minutes away is New Hope, a great place to spend the weekend and dine. We stopped into the ferry market and there were so many choices, but we tried ramen taco. I had the coconut curry ramen and it was so good and super filling. And Jackie had the chicken teriyaki stir fry. We ended our day walking around New Hope and talking about plans for our next adventure. For more things to do in Bucks County, subscribe to our channel and follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.